Good morning, this is Charles with the Columbia Basin Herald, and here is the News Roundup for Thursday, October 26, and a little bit of what's going to be in our newspaper today. Juan Pineda could easily have driven right on past a Moses Lake police officer on October 12th as the officer was attempting to subdue a known felon, but Pineda didn't do that, and without a moment of hesitation, risked his own safety and aided the officer. Pineda's actions were recognized during Tuesday's city council meeting when he was awarded the Citizens Public Safety Award. About 12.45 p.m. on October 12th, the Moses Lake police officer was on patrol and spotted a man, Jeremiah Hamilton, 34, of Moses Lake, who the officer knew had several felony warrants for his arrest, walking on Central Drive. The officer attempted to contact Hamilton and he bolted from the area on foot. Hamilton made his way across a field and ran across Highway 17. Police, Ca Police Chief Kevin Fuhrer noted that Pineda's actions on October 12th make, make it the second time in a year that a Moses Lake towing employee has assisted a Moses Lake police officer. Despite opposition from several local homeless advocates, the Moses Lake City Council passed an ordinance on Thursday that gives the city the ability to ban people from city parks for up to a year. At a previous meeting, council members considered changing the hours of operation at city parks 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., but decided against the change on the recommendation of city staff. Included in the ordinance are several special use areas in city parks, such as trails used for running and athletic courts that are excluded from the normal hours of operation for set use only. The purpose of the ordinance is to limit vandalism and crime at city parks. Parks and Recreation Director Spencer Griggs said damage to bathrooms at parks alone cost the city several thousand dollars a year, not to mention the use of certain bathrooms as a location for drug use and for homeless people to sleep. A blizzard of inquiries about electrical service has Grant County Public Utility District officials rethinking how the utility responds to new customers and starting a year-long project to revamp the process. The Public Utility District received 20 inquiries about electrical service in, in the first three weeks of October alone, said Dave Churchman of the Public Utility District Accounting Department. In the last three or four months, the district has experienced very, very unprecedented requests for service, said General Manager Kevin Nort. Most of the requests have been from customers that would fit in the light industrial category. The upfront cost is much less, said Jer Jeremy Nolan of the Utility District's Accounting Department. Some have come from customers in the heavy industrial class. The pu public utility district still has room to grow, but it's starting to run up against the limits of its share of output from the Wanampum and Priest Rapids dams. And finally, as Halloween approaches, the town of Lind will be taken over by zombies. Or at least downtown Lind will be taken over sat this coming Saturday and Sunday. The first zombie walk is an expansion of the town's annual Halloween family night. The weekend's events, from scary movies to trunk or treating, are sponsored by the Lind Chamber of Commerce. Participants who want to get that just horribly dead zombie look can attend a zombie makeup class from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. Cost is $5 per person. People who want more information can contact Mary Ann Clemmer, 509 217-8862, the contact person for all the zombie-related weekend events. Zombie costumes will be judged at 4 p.m. on Saturday at the Lynn City Park. Entry is $5 per person, and there will be first and second and third place trophies for each age group. The zombie walk in Lynn is scheduled for 5 p.m. through downtown. So if you're a zombie, go to Lynn this weekend. Well, that's it for the News Roundup. For details on these or other stories, please check out our website, www.columbiabasinherald.com. Yeah, that's it. All one really long word. Well, buy the paper. It's only a dollar. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.